I there, I'll be creating a locally set up directus. And if you don't know about directus, directus is a backend service platform that can help you create an endless CMS or provide backend solutions for your products or for whatever you are building that requires backend. Now, running directus online requires you to pay a fee monthly but you can actually run directus locally on your machine and how do you do that going over to the documentation there's a place that talk about how you can actually run directus locally without you paying any monthly fee so what you need to do the first thing you need to do is install docker on your local machine and if you don't know how to install docker you can go over to this link which is docs.docker.com forward slash get docker it will automatically bring out a link that you can actually use to install docker either for your mac machine for your windows machine or for your linux machine so once you are done open docker and you can actually test if it is installed successfully after that the next thing for us to do is go back to this documentation Create an empty folder wherever you want to create it, either on your desktop, either on your document, or wherever you feel like, and call it directus. So I'm using my terminal to do that. I'm currently in my desktop route, so I'll make a new directory and call it directus. So I've created a new directory called directus. I cannot change my directory to the folder that I created called directus. The next thing is to create three empty folders in that same folder that I just created uh, that is database uploads and extensions. So using my terminal, I'm going to do that. So to do that, you run this command mkdir is make a new directory database uploads and extensions and this will create these three directory inside the directus folder the next thing is open a text editor of your choice either using nano using vim text edit or whichever but i'll be using visual studio code for this tutorial so we need to copy this particular code and I have a file called docker-compose.yml so I'll be doing that right away open a code editor inside this particular folder so we've opened our Visual Studio code so now it's for us to create this file I can just copy the name from here Okay, I'm done with this then copy this code and paste all right so this is version 3 and it is getting a directus image then this is the port we'll be using the volume we need to bring in is database will be in this folder uploads and extensions in the respective folder so we need key the secrets admin email so I'll be using admin at example.com and i'll be using direct to spec as this for my admin email and password you can change it to whatever you want to change it to then the db client is sql sqlite and then websocket is enabled once you are done with this save the file and you are good to go so this is the explanation of what happened in that particular code like i mentioned earlier so the port lists map internal port and it's made available for our directors to be used then the volumes will be saved inside a particular directory we created which means the volume of database will be inside a database folder we created and others respectively so in the environment section key that we need to set the key and secret are required and should be long random values key is used for telemetry and health tracking and secret is used to sign access tokens right 
So admin email and admin password is the initial admin user credentials on first launch, right? DB clients are defining the connection to your database. So once we are done with this, the next thing we need to do is run the directors. So I will go back, make configuration to my key and secret, then come back to continue. I've actually changed my key, my secret, my admin email, and my password. So I've added change in the YML file that we just created. So the next thing we need to do is run this command in the same folder. You can actually run the command in the uh, code editor terminal, or you come to your previous terminal that you just opened. So using the command that is gotten on your page, which is docker compose up, and let's try and run the code docker compose up right so this we run for a for a while and let's be patient while this gets completed and then we preview So this is running. So during the running process, you might get a pop-up. You click on allow and the configuration will continue. Our setup is complete. So we've been provided with a URL to preview uh set up so you can see the last line that says server started at http 0.0.0.0 colon 855 so let's go check it out so http 0.0.0 colon 855 it enter and that should run oh wow this is running google okay let's check another let me hit command copy paste okay oh i think i made a mistake earlier so this should work. Okay, so our directus container is running locally. So remember the email you created in the YML file. So it input the email. So I've changed my email, which I'll be inputting. And then my password. So if authent is correct, you should see your directors dashboard opening in front of you. So quick question. What if I want to come back and run the container again after the first use? Let me stop this. Once this is stopped, anytime you want to run directors again locally, let's just clear this up. Just run the command docker compose up and click enter. That will check if the container is already available and it's available, then it will run the docker container for you and provide you with the URL. And once provided with the URL, then you can also go to your browser and check it out so you can see that now the time to load is shorter than the first time you're setting it up if you have any question about directors comment below and if you're finding it difficult to also run comment below and i'll be in the comment section to support and to help you see you in the next tutorial bye